<laughs> have you shown people your tattoos? Yeah. Oh my god, that's cool. Yeah. That's a full, it's a full out one. All right. Yep. So. Yes. Go check the one with this power down. Uh, not great. <laughs> um, I think we, as we've seen on the show, uh, the characters are always forced to confront things and, and deal with uh, a ton of losses. So Jack is definitely in charge of that. Is he going to continue to connect with Mary at all? Because he has that great connection. He's probably going to write her off. He's going to be like, no more talking, nothing. Uh, no, now that she's uh, back in our world, there's this amazing opportunity for Jack to have these new relationships that he's built in Apocalypse World and now gets to bring back home. So uh, we're going to see Jack interact with all these characters. Mary, Melissa, Bobby. So yeah, but you know, back home. Yeah. What can you say about his relationship with Cass this season and the early going? How that develops? Jack and Cass definitely have a, like, a very special connection. Uh, though that sounded weird. Yeah. That sounded weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see you guys. Um, no, but we're going to see that relationship explored a lot more, especially with their yeah celestial connection. They're going to they're going to keep working on that relationship and see where that goes. Which we look forward to the season last year. Well, how's his relationship with Sam going to change per se? Um, I don't know if it will change per se at this point. I think both Sam and Jack are very focused on finding Dean slash Michael. Uh, and that's kind of their, their central thing right now is driving towards that and uh, trying to save Dean. So, we're going to see Jack and Mark and if there are any monsters that are going to be No. Uh, <laughs> They said at the panel today, they were like, what what uh, monster would you like most to see them fight? Uh, I mean, we just see so many of them that are like, fun. we had like Norse gods, we had like, we always have demons, we had, you know, vampires, the werewolves. Uh, I like the werewolves last year, so they were fun. They had the fangs, they got shot, you know, it was good. Wouldn't you want to look face-to-face with like a shapeshifter? Those kind of add a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. Uh, What's funny about the show is everybody eventually ends up playing like multiple, multiple parts. We have like, you know, Apocalypse Misha, and we have like, you know, Misha in a room by himself. Uh, so I think for me, it would be fun to interact. Actually, I always thought about a Jack that wasn't born into the Winchesters, that had like a normal life. I always thought that would be interesting for Jack to meet. Like Amnesia Jack? <laughs> yeah, or like regular childhood Jack. That would be cool. You know, he gets to like play with Legos instead of <laughs> hunting things. You know? You can try Groundhog Day, Jack. <laughs> there could be lots of different variations. Uh, Bill Murray, Jack, something like that. <laughs> so, what would you like to tease about what we can do? Um, seeing our characters adjust to new roles. Uh, we're going to see Cass have to be more of a hunter. Dean is obviously far away from himself right now. Uh, and then Sam kind of uh, dealing with all the, the new hunters and the, the apocalypse people. So having all those new things, we're going to see all these characters have take on different roles, for Jack included. Well, one of the more interesting dynamics sometimes in these kind of um, shows is to see if people really pursue um, relationships out of love or out of like power. What do you think Jack's motivation is? I think Jack's motivation has always been love, definitely not power. Uh, I don't think he's looking for much power. I think he's just trying to fit in. Yeah, but he's around a lot of power all the time. I guess, yeah. He never chose any of it, though, so I don't know. No. <laughs> I think he's operating from a good place. You're hopeful anyways. <laughs> I'm hopeful for now, until the show floats me on my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to see our Lord Tyrion come here? Uh, he doesn't really leave the apartment. Um... He's like major, major anxiety, so there's no way he can like leave. Yeah, so I don't think he will be doing a camp. Although that would be great. If we could just hang out all day, that would be awesome. That would be fun to that episode. I would narrate that. it. That's my life outside of the show, so yeah. <laughs> well, if you guys don't follow his cat's Instagram, I have an Instagram for my I'm cat. Sorry. It's the, uh, yeah, yeah. If you guys have five minutes and want to be amused, 
Yeah. What's the cat's Instagram? His name is the Lord Tyrion. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's very moody. Oh. So you gotta you gotta watch out for him. Yeah. Sounds like you guys got some Game of Thrones this world kind of stuff going on there behind the scenes. <laughs> He's just, he's a bit of an asshole. He's just like, he's very demanding. So I think it was only right that he uh, considered himself a lord. We got this.